Still stuck in World 1? I think I know how you feel. You two dipsticks ain't gonna last ten seconds over the county line! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Yeah. Out of the car, fellas. Always be producing anvil items on all your characters all the time. Put your points into sharpened axe and summon to your accuracy stat if you start missing. This is a very straightforward and solid strategy if you don't want to pick your own talents. Get a class from Prometheus. Can't stress it enough, you gotta get a class from Prometheus. You should probably choose warrior for your first character, then mage, then archer, but it's kind of up to you. Complete NPC quests. Seriously, like, I know quests usually suck in video games, but in Eidolon, they're great. Although you should probably ignore these NPCs until later on. Always equip your attack talents to your attack bar, even when you don't use them, because it helps with your AFK gains. Buy the stamps from the town shop right now. Go. Go buy them right now. And always turn in your stamps when you get them. Don't forget to upgrade them with coins whenever you can. Quick Ref lets you check anvil recipes from anywhere, and it even lets you deposit anvil production items from anywhere. Hints are super informative, so you should totally read them whenever you- I'm kidding, I don't even read them. Always have food equipped. It's a massive help for AFK gains, and it's not much of a hassle. Craft material bags as soon as you can. These help you carry more items back to town each trip on all your characters. Upgrade all your armor with upgrade stones purchased from either shop, the one in Blunderhill's town or the one in the forest. Purchase the Pugilist Demise Ring when you can, since rings are pretty hard to get. Cards, which drop from monsters, must be equipped for you to get their bonus. Once you unlock tasks and you go to the merit shop, unlock Hemo first thing, and then spend the rest of your points on the respawn. After that, it's kind of up to you. Well, there's 14 things that'll help you reach the end of World 1. While we're at it, here's a 15th tip. If you run up to the secret platform on the frog map and say the magic words, millions of gems spawn right at your feet. These are great for buying time candies and other useful items from the gem shop. No one's gonna actually fall for that, right? <laughs>